All right, guys, in this episode, I'm going to calculate the pooling equilibrium of the Spence uh, uh, job market signaling game that we started solving and analyzing in the previous episode. So if you want, uh, we can uh, remember the question. So here's the question. Consider the following job market signaling game. There are three types of workers, T equals two, four, eight, where T is the productivity of the worker. All types are equally likely. Each worker of type T has payoff function W minus E divided by T, where W is the wage and E is the education level. Two firms compete for the workers and hence offering wage equals to expected productivity. Then the second part of the question, is there any pooling equilibrium where all types select the same education level E equals five. Explain your answer. Okay, so the second part of the question is asking if there is a pooling equilibrium where both, uh, I'm sorry, both, uh, all three agents choose the same education level, which is five, all right? Well, uh, in a pooling equilibrium where E is gonna be equal to five, I mean EL equals EM equals EH, which is equal to five, all right. Well, in this case, the firms, if firms observe E equal five, well, then they're going to say, ah, uh, you know what? This could be low type, medium type or high type. We don't know. So we calculate the expected uh, productivity. And so the expected productivity or the expected wage, therefore, is going to be one over three probability. It's coming from two type, uh, I'm sorry, uh, type t equals two, with one over three probability it comes from type t equals four, and then one over three probability it comes from type t equals eight. So it means 12, 14 divided by three. Let's leave it as is. So this is going to be the wage. Well, what if firms observe e other than five? Huh. So if they observe, for example, zero or 10, what are they going to believe? Well, this is going to be off equilibrium path because in the pooling equilibrium, all three are supposed to pool and play five. Any other thing, uh, any other education level are off the equilibrium path. So therefore, requirement three says nothing. Requirement four does not impose anything because we cannot calculate the Bayesian updating. So you know what? Uh, the firms are free to believe anything they want. I mean, the beliefs are free parameter. And so therefore there might be infinitely many pooling equilibria, but we're trying to find just one. So let's stick to the simplest possible scenario. So in this case, firms will believe T is equal to two and hence uh, P, I'm sorry, no, not P, W is going to be equal to 2, all right? So if the firms observe education level other than 5, uh, they're going to offer 2, all right? So therefore, wage can be only 14 divided by 3 and only at education level 5. Everywhere else, it's going to be 2. So the question is, do they have incentive to deviate? So type T equals 2 no deviation versus deviation. All right, if he doesn't deviate, his wage is going to be 14 divided by three minus education level, which is five, divided by his uh, productivity two. If he deviates, his wage is gonna be two minus education level E, you know, deviates to some E, divided by two. So if we want no deviation is better than, I mean, if we are looking for equilibrium, no deviation payoff should be greater than or equal to deviation payoff. And once again, the deviation payoff can be at most two when he deviates to zero education, all right? So therefore, this thing should be the case as long as uh, 14 over 3 minus 5 over 2 is greater than or equal to 2 minus 0. 
I mean, is it true? If it is true, well, then that means T equals two type is best responding. All right. If it is not true, then that means T equals two type is actually not best responding. And hence, there is no such equilibrium. All right. So let's check. Uh, I don't know. What is this? Uh, this is 28 minus 15 divided by 6. Uh, is this greater than or equal to 2? I just do the cross product. This is going to be 12. So this is uh, 13. Is this greater than or equal to 12? Yes. So you know what? Type T equals 2 is in fact best responding. So choosing education 5 is the best response for type T equals 2. I'm going to do the same thing for type 4 and type 5. Okay, that's it. So when type T equals 4, the no deviation uh, in the pooling equilibrium, remember wage is 14 divided by 3, education is 5 divided by his productivity 4, but if he deviates, his wage is going to be 2 minus his education level is going to be E divided by 4. And again, this must hold for any E other than 5, and therefore it should also hold for E equals 0. So that means 14 divided by 3 minus 5 divided by 4 should be greater than or equal to, I mean, is it the case, 2. Uh, let's check. Uh, how can I do that? Uh, well, do the, I multiply both sides by 2. It's going to be 28 divided by 3 minus 5 over 2 greater than or equal to uh, uh, 4, right? This is what I did. So uh, do this. Uh, this is, this is uh, 56 minus 15 greater than or equal. This is 6 times 4, uh, 24. And then is this true? Well, this uh, left-hand side is just 41. Is this greater than or equal to 24? Um, yes. Um, so therefore, T equals 4 is also best responding. And then finally, T equals 8. Uh, no deviation. Payoff. His wage is, once again, in the pooling equilibrium, it's 14 divided by 3 minus his education level, 5, divided by his productivity, 8. Is this greater than or equal to deviation payoff, which is going to be 2 wage minus education level divided by his productivity, 8. So this must be true for every education level in between 0 infinity except uh, 5 because when e is equal to 5 the wage is going to be 14 divided by 3 so it's not a deviation really so therefore this must also hold for 0 okay so e equals 0 so uh, again the same thing is like uh, I mean is this greater than or equal to 2 just check but yes it is right um, so the conclusion is therefore conclusion uh, when, not when E equals 3, um, 5, I'm sorry, uh, E equals 5 is a pooling equilibrium because all three types best response by choosing E equals 5. Given that, uh, of equilibrium beliefs are such that W is equal to 2 whenever, whenever E is different than 5. So that part is very important because, I mean, Think it this way. So the off equilibrium path, I mean, uh, whenever the firms observe E different than five, um, they, they believe that this player should be the high productivity guy. Um, in this case, they should offer in the equilibrium wage equals eight. And if this is the case, education equals five is not going to be in a, a pooling equilibrium. All right. So the off equilibrium beliefs are critically important uh, in order to support uh, a pooling equilibrium. And here is just one example to create a pooling equilibrium in the 
uh, spends job market signaling game or the simplified version of the spends job market signaling game. I hope that was clear.